Isn't this so cool? I found these in my drawer. I did not even know I had these in there, but I'm so glad I do. Because thumbnail time. Uh. So I was on YouTube and I saw that some people have been doing heatless challenges going for like a month or two months or like a year, things like that. And I realized that I have not put heat on my hair in six years. Six whole years. So that inspired me to make this video about the heatless challenges and why people do it and why people don't do it or why people like using heat. So let's jump right into it. So we're gonna get into why people do it. So one reason why people do it is to avoid, obviously to avoid heat damage and to help their hair be more healthy overall. Uh, a lot of people have the stigma that when you straighten your hair, when you use heat on your hair, um, it weakens the hair strands. And so if you wanna have a healthier, healthier hair in general or a healthier look to your hair, meaning no straight ends, no heat damage, no curl pattern change or difference or texture difference, then you should avoid using heat. Another reason is that people want to grow long, healthy hair. There's this thing out there that if you use less heat, um, it's less breakage and therefore you'll be able to retain length and you'll be able to grow your hair long and healthy. So people that are looking for long hair love doing the heatless challenge because they feel that they've seen a lot of growth afterwards. Another reason that I could think of is that people want simply to learn how to love what they have naturally. Uh, there are a lot of people that are natural in terms of the fact that they don't have a relaxer or anything like that, but they prefer their hair straight. They always have it blown out, they always have it straightened. So I do, I have noticed that people um, tend to do a heatless challenge when they're trying to gain appreciation for the way their hair is natural, whether it's curly, kinky, whatever it is. So they cut out the heat and learn to style their own hair. They learn how to work with their own hair. They learn how to take care of their hair when it's in its natural state. So that is an important reason to me. And I thought, hmm, I should add that to this because that could be a reason why a lot of people do these heatless challenges. Now, I just have to admit to you that those first two reasons, I did not know them. I just Googled them. I mean, they're pretty like, don't get me wrong, I'm not dumb or whatever. Like, you know, obviously people want healthier hair. Obviously some people are looking for longer hair. But yeah, those two, I was like, why do people actually do the heatless challenge? So I Googled it. Myself, I am doing the heatless challenge, quote unquote, but I'm not doing the heatless challenge. Like, I just realized a few days ago that I hadn't straightened my hair for six years. After seeing that video, I was like, wait, how long has it been since heat has touched my hair? Okay, six years. Six whole years. Uh, it wasn't a challenge. It's just that I prefer my hair like this. Um, I'm always like, oh, I don't think I'll look that good with straight hair. And it's a lot of work to straighten my hair. It's summer now. So this started out as a stretch twist out. Now it's humid and it's like shrunken and everything like that. So it's like straightening my hair. It's like, what's the point? Because it likes to frizz up. It likes being like this. You know, it's that 4B, 4C lifestyle. It's like, you know, I want to do what I want to do or whatever. And you have to let it do what it wants to do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You look like you know what I mean. And now. And now. So of course I want to look at the other side and why people like using heat or heat train their hair because there's a whole host of people, a big community out there that heat trains, that loves using heat for their hair. So I just wanted to look up some reasons that people like doing that. So one of the reasons, the main reasons that I found was that people say that it combats single strand knots. There are a lot of people that complain about single strand knots. I complained about that, especially when I first started going natural. I'm like, what the heck are these at the end of my hair? I was constantly dusting. And people have found, or people say, I don't know because I haven't done it, that when their hair is heat trained or when they straighten their hair, it's less single strand knots. So there's less cutting of the hair or trimming of the hair because of single strand knots, it's split ends. And they feel that overall it leads their hair to get longer because they avoid knots and tangles and things of that nature. Another reason people like straightening their hair or heat training their hair is because they find that it's easier to detangle, which just makes sense when you think about it. If you're combing through this, my hair like this as it is in its natural voluptuous state, and no comb is getting through this. In fact, I use my fingers because I that's what I prefer to do. But uh, with, and when you're using a comb, you're going to have to go slowly through, you're going to have to wet it, this and that. But someone that has straightened their natural hair, whether it's straightened natural hair or people that just have naturally straight hair, yes, I can't, you can't just run a comb right through it. I'm not saying like <sighs> things are flowing, but it's a lot easier to eventually get the comb through, a lot easier to detangle the hair, takes away time uh, from the detangling process and all those other things, which ultimately a lot of people want to save time. So that's another reason. 
And another reason, the last reason that I found that people still use heat on their hair, especially those people that don't really straighten their hair, they're not into getting a blowout, they're not into like having silky straight hair, but they do use heat. They use heat through things like a heated dryer, a hooded dryer, or blow drying for like diffusing and stuff like that. So one reason that people use heat is because it helps with styling. Let's say people that do wash and go, if they use a diffuser on like a hot setting, it's not necessarily that they're using heat to make the hair straight or to change the te texture, but they're using it to spread, speed, spread, spread, spread. Can you hear me? Can I talk? Can I speak English? <laughs> they're using it to speed up the styling process, to dry their hair faster, to, you know, set a style quicker, things of that nature. And the last reason, another reason that people use it, is to help their deep conditioning treatments um, sink in more. Uh, you know that when you use heat on your skin or, or steam on your skin or steam on your hair, it opens up the pores. So a lot of people that want really deep, 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 that deep, 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 that's down, 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 that's pass, pass. That people want their deep conditioning treatments to sink deep. They want to put them on the back. You know what I'm saying? They want to put them on the back. They really want that deep conditioning to deep, deep, deep conditioning. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So people are like, let me open up them pores real quick using heat and get this deep conditioning, deep conditioning, if you know what I'm saying. So that's another reason that people use it and not necessarily to straighten their hair, but to help with the overall health of their hair. You know me here at this channel, I don't like to preach to anybody, I don't like to tell anyone what to do with their hair. If I have to choose whether it's heatless or heat, to me, it doesn't matter. Like, you do what works for your hair like I do what works for my hair. Like I said in the beginning, I am not doing a heatless challenge. I have not used heat in my hair for six years, not because of like, I need healthy hair. I don't wanna get heat damage. And it's just that I don't think I like the way I look with straight hair. I just, one, and two, my hair doesn't really get silk straight. So what's the point? Three, if it did get silk straight, it would be, it's humid in New York, there's a lot of elements, rain, this and that. It just wouldn't be a long lasting style. And you guys know, you know here on this channel that I'm all about them long lasting styles. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so that's a reason that I don't straighten my hair and why I have been on this six year and counting heatless journey. We'll see how long I could go. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll straighten my hair. I don't know what to tell you. We'll see. We'll see. What is that? Oh my god. So weird. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell me down below whether you're on a heatless journey, what you think about heat, if you would not use it, if you're okay with using it. Tell me, because some people like versatility and I feel you on that because a versatile lifestyle is a beautiful thing about having natural hair, you know? But anyway, tell me your thoughts down below. Um, I hope this video was helpful in a way. I don't really know, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!